Um, I thought I'd take a minute since a lot of us are wanting to do uh, music and we're wanting to do lyrics with the music these days because we got to put it up online. I thought I'd take a minute and show how to do that. So I've been doing this for a few weeks here because we do our services online for our church. Um, and so I just thought I'd show you a quick, easy, simple way to do lyrics for uh, a church service or if you just have a music video and you want to put the lyrics in there. So this is for Final Cut Pro 10. So what I do, and I'll kind of show you from the beginning here. Got this tab over here. So what I do, the first thing I do is I pull in a, a generator here. So this one's called Custom. It's a custom generator. You just go to Generators, and you're just going to grab the basic custom generator and drag it down here. Let's see if I can get this a little bigger here. So I had my screen all formatted for the other way. So there it is custom generator there it is so I'll just drag a fresh one in here to show you when you first drag this in here it's gonna be a full screen um, generator but we don't want it to cover the whole screen we just want a little black bar um, or gray bar whatever color you want um, where the lyrics are gonna go so if you click this little button down here this crop button you can crop this square to however big you want it I usually do mine about about like there something like that okay and then over here in your editor you can change the color of that if you want to change it I usually just keep it black and there's a little controller called opacity I take the opacity and I turn that down usually just a hair um, just so you can kind of see the background behind it if that makes sense if it's solid black it kind of just looks like a huge black chunk out of your screen there. If you have it a little bit opaque, you can see the image behind it. Okay, so that's, once you create that, you're just gonna wanna take it, and you can see I've dragged my black bar across the entire song here, right? Okay, good. Next step is, because I'm not very good at spelling, <laughs> actually I'm fine at spelling, but I'm just lazy, I don't wanna have to proofread everything. I always Google the lyrics. So um, this one's called Because He Lives. Because he lives, Ugh. not because he lies, that'd be bad. God does not lie, there we go. Um, so here's the whole lyrics. Usually it just pops up right in Google. You can literally just take the whole thing copy it and then paste it to a document so it's right there quick access and then for the next bit of this process what I do is I set up the screen half and half so I have my my uh, editing window over here and I've got the lyrics over here to make it real easy so what I do after that is I have a basic title that I drag in there so once again I go down here to this uh, titles and generators tab I'll go to titles and I just use the basic title it's called basic title right so you drag that in and then here's what I do for fonts on that so rather than using the font that they give you that's not, I don't love the look of it I always go over here let's type something worth the living so I go over here and in this box up here you can change the type so I'm going to change it to 2D styles and I use condensed because it just makes everything look nice and caps locks uh, cap locks everything so it's all consistent and then you can take that title you can move it around wherever you want to move it um, so for this one oh, you have to take this little box off that's what it is for this one I'm gonna bring it down here to where I made my black box right and I'm gonna shrink it down Make sure you have all your <laughs> words selected there. And you just shrink it down to a size you like. So uh, let's see what 30 does. That's too small. Let's go a little bigger. Maybe right about there. Something like that. That looks nice. There's your, your lyrics. And then from here on out, for the rest of the process, we're going to be using copy and paste like crazy, OK? So here we are um, at the beginning of the song. What I would do is I just have my, my box here. I go to my lyrics, Command C, or whatever it is on Windows, I can't remember, Command C. 
and then uh, you come over here, you triple click. If you triple click, it selects the whole line, and then you Command V. You got your lyrics right there. And what I like to do is I listen. I, I press play now, and I listen until the last word is being sung. So like this. So right there, I'm I'm starting to say the word Jesus, which is the last word of this sentence, okay? So right as I'm starting to say that word, I'm going to stop it. And I've already done all this, but I'll just show you for the sake of this. Now I'm going to select this, press Command-C. And you see how this bar goes yellow when I bring my mouse over it? It's all yellow now. That's when you want to press Command-V, right? That'll bring up... Uh, one right on that part of the timeline where you want it to be Okay, so next you want to make sure you've clicked this right and then You just go back and you repeat the process Okay, heal and forgive I'm gonna listen till I hear the word forgive Heal and for I'm starting right there forgive, okay? Command C, Command V, it's right there where I want it to be. I've selected it. Command C, come over here. Once again, triple clicking to select that whole line. And then you just copy and paste throughout the song for the duration of it. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, let me know if you have any questions. This may not have been the clearest explanation, but I know this is this doing it this way for my lyrics and, and the songs has really sped up my process a whole lot. And it's also because I'm getting the lyrics off of a, a lyric site online. I don't have to worry about my, stella, my spelling at all. I'm just copying and pasting them directly in. So, uh, yeah, like I said, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll do my best to, to answer them for you. Thanks.